live, man. We back, baby. We back at it with another one, another one, another one, another one. Y'all know the y'all know the slogan, man. I got my main man with me in confusion. Yer. Got the Atlanta Hawks on. He's not a Hawks fan. Let's get that. Let's get. Let's, let's start nah. there. Let's yeah, start yeah. there. Uh, Jalen GB, man, we back at it with another episode, and uh, yeah, man, we missed y'all. You know what I'm saying? I know we've been on a little. Little break, but we just coming back with the second half of season one. So y'all just just stay tuned and just stay tuned, man. That's all I really can say. How you doing today, brother? Man, chilling, man, chilling. What's the word? What's, What's the, the word? word? Well, first topic I'm thinking about, man. Why the fuck do women like drama? Like it's just like you can never go like. Kid, you not. Last girl I talked with, we was all cool, right? I didn't do, I didn't do no fuckery. I was not no green shit. You feel me? But she just kept trying to start fights. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do women do that? Mm. You, you don't know. I mean, I, I, I mean, I could assume. What I, I, I assume, what I assume, why they want drama is because I'll ask you first. It's something like it might be something in their head. Like, no disrespect to all women, because I love women. You know what I'm saying? But. I I can't answer that like truly because it's like an assumption, you know what I'm saying? So right. I feel like why they like drama. Honestly, I, I blame TV. I blame TV. <laughs> I blame Bad Girls Club and all these, you know what I'm saying? Keeping up with the Kardashians and all this, just a lot of lot of reality TV. What I, what I should say, you, reality you gotta TV. think of like you want to be boring, boring dude, or you want to be somebody that has a lot of action in his life. As far as you know what? what I'm saying. Well, action in anything, like keeping your girl on her toes. Like, do you want to be with somebody that you know his game plan? You know he's going to be home. You know he's going to be on the video game. You know he's going to be chilling. He might even cook for you. He might even do any of that. He, you, but you know his schedule as opposed to somebody. Like kind of mysterious. You don't know what they're up to. Yeah, spontaneous. He's all over the place. He's a, he's a figure on social media. He's He's – traveling he's doing skits with That's chicks you know what i'm That's saying so point. it's like what are you more attracted to and i feel like the ones we're attracted to are attracted to that at least me though you know what i mean i don't know because some girls like that guy that they know is gonna be at home just playing the game he's not going out to the club some females like that some females some like don't. it just because but. they have control on in a way you know what i mean yeah some dudes do it because they don't want to get in trouble and they just don't want no beef, yeah. no drama. Right. So they just relax. Fair Personally, Fair enough. I don't need no drama. I'm over here on the game practicing, giving myself haircuts and shit. I did my own shit, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Let me see you. But, um, <laughs> 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 but. That's all in all. It's just like some some girls like a little bit of action, and they like you know what I mean. Especially the younger you are, the older you are, you might not want that. But in my experiences, you probably just I don't know. Girls, why they just probably don't want no boring, nothing boring. That, that, that fair enough. That's that's a valid point. It's just still doesn't explain. Like, but it's hard to explain it because no one knows why the woman like drama. You know, like I understand that point. It's you just, gotta have a real it does, female it doesn't tell make you. Sense. You gotta have a real female tell you what her insight is on that because you're not alone. I feel like girls but I think, do like the little drama. I think I think you are right with the boring shit. That like females don't like being bored. So I mean that's understandable why they pick a fight just to start a fight. Some females are toxic. I, I've been in a few toxic relationships and I I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I like think it about it in like TV shows and stuff and movies. What do you see? What character is pulling? Type shit. You know what I mean? Like in a sitcom, there's always the characters. There's the the nerd, the girl everybody wants, the the jock. You know, in a movie type shit. I'm, yeah. I'm sure you've seen a movie like that where it's kids involved. It's high school. Yeah, definitely. Who's pulling? It's, it's not the nerd until season. the end of the movie type right, shit. You know what I mean? Jocks, but yeah. who's the whole journey? Who's pulling? Usually the jocks. And it's true this, that that movie shit is fake, but it's it's portraying like real experience life shit, like so in some degree. Cause I seen I seen some of the nerdiest dudes with the baddest females. Is it because they have money? I don't know. 
I, I, <laughs> I, I, I go to the mall and I see like why why is she with him? I just question myself like, hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I seen it. I don't know if they got money because he's just dressing in a regular, you know, regular smegger fit. You feel me? So it's like I can't say if he has money or not. It didn't look like it, but you know, you never know. They probably went to school together. That's what I'm assuming. They probably went to school together. It was a cool put together dude, family friend type shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, nerds. I'm not gonna say nerds don't have, because I consider myself a nerd. But same here. Do you see nerds? You know, I don't think nerds have all that game like that. But they probably their game is within itself. Like they probably just are themselves, I and some the girls are attracted is. to. It, but what really is a nerd? A nerd is somebody <laughs> is. A nerd sound. If I explain it, it just sounds like it yeah, just sounds, sounds dumb, bro. Yeah, it's yeah, it just like somebody who <laughs> trying to make some money. Somebody who's smart. Somebody who's minding their own business, playing a game or something like a gamer. Yeah, smart dude that you that's know a, probably doesn't have a social life with the girls. That's yeah. what a nerd is to me. But some nerds do have social life. So that's that's the what is a nerd part. to you? Uh, someone that works hard and focuses on focuses on work, you know, that's a nerd to me. I feel like but I'm a nerd. Cause I focus what on do work. you say? What a nerd is in quotation? A nerd is a person. Like you explain this to your kid. Yeah, I'm like, hey, son, a nerd is a person that focuses on work. That focuses on creating his future. <laughs> that's what a you nerd gotta is. say. That actually, I can't because, say your kid because. You're going to give him the most positive advice Usually anyway. in school, you see, you say, hey, he's a nerd. That nerd is focusing on his grades, right? He's in class studying. He's acing every test, you know what I'm saying? That's a nerd, so that's the one that work, works hard and just focuses on work and avoids social social life, I guess, you know what I'm saying? So you could say that. But to to circle back to the question, why do females like drama? I just feel like I, I blame TV, bro. I blame TV. I blame the movies. I blame the reality TV, and I blame just all these shows, man. Cause it's a lot of tox- toxic behavior in these shows, and you got girls watching Bad Girls Club, and you got uh, like I said, keeping up with the Kardashians, etc. Yeah, I think that plays a factor. But like you said too, boredness that I definitely does play play a factor too. I believe. But once we get some females on the pod, we're gonna ask them definitely because we got we got something lined up for y'all boys, man. You got the the hip hop game too. What you mean? The artists. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So we got we gonna have some some yeah. insights from a lot of perspectives, man. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna get to the bottom of that answer though. But circle back to the. I said circling back up. Going on to the next question. Um, do you care? If a girl's like wearing, you know, designer brands, driving a nice car, you know, hair did, nails did, and so that's kind of like luxury shit. Do you care? Do I care? Yeah. Um. Depends on where her head's at, honestly, because I think all girls like that shit. It's just yeah. up to them if they can. So I guess the better question would be attain that shit. So. Are you looking for a girl that does that? Do you, do you mind if a girl comes in with an all Walmart Target fit, twenty dollar fit? You know what I'm saying? Do you care? Uh, not trying to be shallow, but it does <laughs> depend on how bad she is. You know what I mean? Like if I do see her in that Walmart fit, and it's like, oh, I well, I'll say this because it depends, bro. It depends. It depends. If we're older yeah. and shit like that, we're not really caring about that shit no more. Yeah, I I, I wouldn't care. But right now, like, everybody trying to get a bag, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, the girls I'm attracted to, I mean, like, they just aren't wearing that. I I don't go to Walmart. I'll go to the thrift store, if anything, if I'm trying to be cheap about it or anything. Walmart, not dissing. If you ever got something from Walmart now, I'm not saying you ain't (laughs) shit, you know what I'm saying? I just personally haven't found anything that I can wear in Walmart. But Other what if than work w- shoes and shit, like you know what I'm saying, fair like yeah, some need some boots real quick, and I ain't trying to pay like over a hundred to mess them up. Yeah. I'll go in Walmart. No, that's that's fair enough. If, purse wise, if you find some shit in there, cool. And and, and I don't know because I'm not necessarily that's I'm, I'm not necessarily how asking would, you. How would you know if it's all kept together? If it's like a basic she, crop top, yeah. some jeans, you know what I'm nah, saying? She's like, cool looking, and I'm like, I like her, and she is like, how? Oh, by the way, like, oh, this is a Walmart fit. I'd be like. 
that's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. I probably I'm like, oh, she doing she peeping game. Like she ain't really trying to be flashy like that. She about her pockets type yeah. shit. You know what I mean? She's not just trying to flex it. Like she probably seen it in Walmart. She's probably doing other shit. All right, she so might not have went to Walmart just for the clothes. Yeah, she went for some groceries. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some, yeah. Some stuff at the house, and she just went to the clothes aisle and found it. And I found it. And I'm like, I Fair respect enough. her. Like I'll be like, okay. Now you saying as a lifestyle, like, oh, we need to be shopping at Walmart. Is that what you're saying? No, nah, I'm just saying, do you <laughs> care? Basically, it's like, do you care if a girl is wearing high fashion, pretty much? Uh, Could you be with a girl that doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Pretty, that's pretty much the question. Um, So, I know you're big, now on, that you're big on fashion, you know what I'm saying? I know you're, you're into clothes, you put the fit on, you know what I'm saying? You get your shit together, you put that shit on, man. So, do you want <laughs> your girl to put that shit on, too? Or do you mind if she, like I said, go on a Walmart Target? Um thrifting example i mean thrifting i guess you can find cool. shit, but. thrifting i was just saying to myself like i'll say i'll get back to thrifting but i don't care like if she was already put together and wearing that shit yeah. like cool but if it's like a all the time shit and it's like a for sure like this is the only shit you can buy me or um why don't you wear no designer yeah. you know what i mean then it becomes a problem because i don't personally wear designer shit like that like yeah. Now I'm talking about thrifting and shit like that. I think that shit is cool. Like I started doing that shit probably four or five years ago. Like okay. whenever I attained a job and got out of high school and started right, having yeah. money in my pockets, you and right. I ain't want to pay a hundred dollars for just the hoodie itself, All right. like a Nike Tech and right, shit. Yeah, yeah. Like you look at that shit like I'm gonna buy a hoodie. Or I'm gonna get some kicks with that, and I'm just like you go to the thrift store. This shit right here thrifted don't even know it's a throwback warm-up shit yeah. you know what i mean as long as you got some fresh kicks like a girl can't really say anything to you and your shit's clean like it's just clean and you put it on together yeah that's so that's it's like fun. if the girl don't care don't like if she's wearing designer shit i can't say don't wear it like yeah. she gonna wear it regardless but if i have a kid with her and she's instilling that in them at an early age yeah. then it's like damn the kids that might not even want that shit so it's like that's something down yeah. the line but as of now like no kids like i wouldn't mind she gonna do her shit and i'm i don't own nobody no, that's fact, but you can't so. talk shit on how i dress either because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm i'm fly you know what i'm saying like yeah. it, it, nobody could tell me otherwise though no nah, that's facts bro me personally though uh i, I don't give a fuck I, I truthfully don't give a fuck if she wears designer, if she drives a luxury car, has the biggest pair of Chanel, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't care, you know what I'm saying? The reason I don't care because that shit don't, it doesn't attract me, bro. Like, yeah, I wear, I wear occasionally some designer shit, you know what I'm saying? It's just because me personally, bro, I don't like, like, the way I think, like, all these Jordans I should lease in, like, you got to go on the app. You got to get these fucking tickets and, you know what I'm saying? It's just too much. So I don't like waiting in lines and all this other shit. I like going in a place, get it, rock right out. So that's why yeah. I, sometimes I do, you know what I'm saying, by designer because usually the lines are not as long as you go to Foot Locker or Champs, for example. Those lines are long as shit. You feel me? So Just to get in there. Just to get in like and get you out. You got to deal with people in the mall and exactly. everything. It's like, exactly. Man, might as well go somewhere else, get some quality shit that exactly. I want. Exactly. And then usually when I do splurge like that, it's the reason I'm splurging. I'm, I'm uh, basically it's like a present to myself for all the hard work. You know what I'm saying? Now, does that truly mean am I satisfied when I get that shit? Absolutely not. It doesn't make me f change how I feel. It's just like I said. I don't know. I'm working hard. Got all this money saved up, so it's like, fuck it. Why not splurge on yourself, right? Spoil yourself. That's my one of my biggest quotes. Y'all gonna hear that a lot, honestly. Spoil yourself, cause who else you supposed to spoil? If you're not spoiling yourself. Take care of your family. Take care of your girl if you got a girl. But always, number one, take care of yourself. Yep. First take care of yourself so you can take care of everyone else. Exactly, brother. Exactly. Um, I guess we kind of circle into the. Uh, I guess I should have asked this probably second after the woman like drama. Um, why do some girls like guys that don't like them? Let me rephrase that. Yeah, that's. I I I get what you're saying. That's kind of like with the first question, like. They want that spice, like is it competition? It, it, it's competition. Cause girls could be competitive, especially if they don't play sports. Every, like human nature, I feel like in, in our in our human in our DNA, 
we're competitive as as human beings. Right. We play sports. That was our we play games too. That's our competitive. Like that's how we get that that itch off. Right. Females right. they don't play the games like that. Some females don't play sports. So how are they gonna be get that competitive itch out? You know what I'm saying? That is true. All humans are competitive. There has to be a certain stat though with the brain. Like I don't know if girls are that. Com- I don't know if they are that competitive not that like competitive, we are. But they have that itch in them. It's human nature. Right. Right. I'm not saying that's the reason. It's no, but it is. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. That's all no, I'm it's, saying. It's for sure a reason. Like you, a girl probably likes a dude, but he got power in terms of <coughs> he don't have power financially. He just in high school and he got. Bitches. Got the juice, yeah. He got the juice. So it's like a girl probably wants that. And she's probably getting hella looks herself, but she can't get this one dude for some reason. Cause and she's curious. She's, she's curious. like, why can I get her? Right, yeah. right, right. Now she's like, that oh, that's itch. the girl? Because yeah. they think like, and I'm saying they think like, we think like them low key as well. I know if a girl you was attracted to. You seen her looking at so and so, and you like this nigga ain't even got so and so. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. he ain't got that shit on. He ain't got no fresh bait, yeah. nerd. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got no line up, no cut, no. He just how did he get that? Yeah. You probably be hating too, like. So it's, just, yeah. it's even on the gram. Hats over, yeah. Even on the gram, bro. You be like, dang. For instance. Drewski. <laughs> nah, that's what I I, I I see that I understand, bro. That I understand. Just imagine you was up there with Drewski and higher, and you like, dang, why him? You know what I mean? So it's like a competitive nature. If like, yeah, you said it. You said it yourself. I don't. I don't really see any other reason why, yeah. unless you can say something like, because I can't even think like it is competitive, like. Definitely. That's why I said it's an assumption for me. I ain't gonna say it's like proven fact. Just Especially if he has all these reasons. options. Yeah. But I think what, what females tend to do is uh most females that are attractive, I even say the least attractive ones too, they still got niggas that's chasing them. And uh just to be different and be the nigga that's not chasing her, you feel me? That's gonna in attract her, essentially, because she's got all these dudes in her DMs blowing her up. You never hit her up once. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like her competitive ick. She's going to be like, well, could I get him? Like, could I make him mine? Could I could I do it? So that's when she starts to get after you. That's why when I – I'm not even trying to give y'all a game because it's just – not females going to know my game. But uh, <laughs> fellas out there, man, you dealing with a girl, a bad – a bad – I was going to say a bad bitch, bro, but we're going to keep it PG. Uh, when we dealing, you dealing with a bad female, of y'all, don't don't go overly excited. You know what I'm saying? Don't go too crazy. Don't flutter with compliments. Don't don't do all this unnecessary shit because it's just gonna sadly push her away, bro. Because you just like the rest of the guys in the DMs and the guys that's chasing after. You gotta be different. Hit her with a compliment every little one or two weeks, maybe three weeks. You know what I'm saying? Give her one compliment. Call her beautiful. Leave it alone for a month. Don't compliment at all. And sad to say. It's gonna drive her crazy, bro. She was gonna fish for that compliment for you, and it's just gonna be. Let me be quiet. You feel me? Nah, uh, nah <laughs> we gonna nah, put y'all on game, <laughs> but it's just you know what I'm saying. I won't put y'all on more, too more, much more. game. More. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but hey, just you know if you're dealing with a baddie, just don't flutter with compliments, man. Just thank me later. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank me later. Um, that brings me up to my next my next question, bro. Um, Stephen A. Smith actually said this. He said it's better to date a seven. Instead of a date in the ten, and his reason why was on a good day that seven could be a ten, make right, up, right. dress, you look good, hair done, nails done, all that shit. But the ten, it's a lot of high maintenance. It's a bad, bad it's a baddie. Like I said, you dealing with baddies, you gonna go crazy. You gonna go crazy. You can start getting a little insecure, a little. <laughs> bit, you know what I'm saying? You gonna go crazy. Just don't let her think that. But definitely, you gonna you gonna be a little insecure, insecure. You are gonna be a little protective <laughs> and a little. Gonna be crazy for sure. But don't let her take that. Yeah, you, that's facts. Do you, do you agree with that? <laughs> like, do you agree? With, is it better? 
you think it's better to date a seven instead of a ten, or would you personally say, "Fuck it, I'm dealing with all the bullshit with the ten"? It's your life, you know what I mean. In my life, like, am I a ten? That's what you ask yourself. It's like, fair, fair, so, fair, so fair, am fair. I gonna get somebody that is just like they're gonna looking down on me? They know they got more to offer than me. You know what I'm saying? I, it's just literally, it's just me liking her, and she just got me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't need a ten. If that's what a 10 is, like, yeah. and everybody's, I think a 10 is, like, somebody that looks visually attractive to the eye, like, is to die for it. Like, uh-huh. this dude could cheat on me. I, I still, like, shit like that. That's, that's for what me, a 10 is, yeah. Nah. The 10s, I, I look away from low-key because it's like. Because you know it's a lot to do with. Yeah, it's like, oh, you're a pretty face, but what do you have to offer other than, you know, your power, than, you know what I'm saying, and, like, your looks, you know what I mean? Yeah. Your personality might not can match mine. Exactly. You know what I'm saying no, I could I'm be sure a ten to some people. I could be a five to some people. Three, you know what I'm saying. Like, but uh-huh. personally, you know, I think I'm, you know, whatever number I feel, <laughs> I feel like in that situation. I ain't gonna say I'm a ten or nothing, but damn. Hey. No, but, I, I hear you. I hear you. But brother. it just depends on the person, bro. Like, I would think you would go for a ten because it's like, dang, like I see her. She's looking at me like, oh, I can talk. She's talking back to me like, hey. yeah. But let me let me get that. If you had the option to, you probably get to ten, cause she's down with it and all that. Me personally, nah, I, I don't know, I don't know, cause I feel like. But you probably go for somebody that doesn't require so much, exactly. And then that, you can still the be a kid in a that's way. That's the type like, I'm on right now. That's you don't the type, type I'm on. Yeah. I feel like tens are just high maintenance. Some some tens are not. Don't get me wrong. Some baddies are cool and they are not high maintenance. But I just feel like majority of the tens I'm running on too, cause y'all know we located in uh. Los Angeles, so y'all know that females out here already. You know what I'm saying? A little boost. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh like I said, man, some tens, majority of tens, I'm not gonna be blunt with it. I'm gonna be blunt with it. Majority of tens are high maintenance. Uh they require a lot of attention. Yeah. Uh, a lot of uh compliments, a lot of just just a lot of your time, bro. It's it's very high maintenance and it's it could be a headache to some it could be the world to some, you know what I'm saying? It's just really your preference. But me personally, I, I would I would choose a seven over the ten. So like 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 he said, on a good day, that seven could be a ten. On the worst day, seven could turn down to like a six, five, but I feel like seven, you gon you gonna eat with a seven, bro. You can make the world a better place with a seven. With that ten, there's gonna be a lot of toxic shit because like I said, she goes out with her friends. You're freaking out because you know she's bad. So you know it's gonna be niggas in the club looking at her. Yeah. She goes out in general. You know it's gonna be you're gonna be a little like, damn, what could happen? You know what I'm saying? It depends. The temptation on the is real. It depends. It depends on, on the person for real. Because I've been on my chill mode, so I really don't be giving a fuck what these bitches do, bro. But <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't control you got nobody, to, bro. You know what I'm that's the only way. To, that's the only way to survive, bro. In this relationship, shit, bro. You just gotta have faith for real. You got to. You got to. Bro. And uh, cross your fingers, and you know what I'm saying. Play the game, man. Just chill out. You know what I'm saying? Smoke a little blunt too. Yeah, you know what I'm and not saying like the seven could be still fine. Fine as hell. Like sex wise, it's amazing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You still have a good relationship with her. That'd be a great one. I thought still fine though. And I think people when they do the number scale is strictly looks only. So it's like a seven could still be cool. A ten is probably all of the above, yeah. but probably more than above too like she's probably requiring a lot oh, it's and, a high maintenance yeah yeah and even if even if you're cool with it and you're like oh i'm gonna strive to be a 10 i don't know you still want that little bit of leverage room if you fuck up it's not the end of the world oh, that's facts man that's facts for the females watching i'm just curious you know what i'm saying drop the little scale one, show one two ten rate us on, rate us in the comments man let, <laughs> let us know something man let us know let something. me know man Listen, let us know something man um how do you feel so like let's say you and your girl, y'all together for five years, y'all break up and she hits you with a text. Could we still be friends? You said five years later? No, so y'all you was in a relationship with a girl for five years. Oh, 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 y'all oh. break up. <laughs> and let's just okay. say after the breakup, like a week later, you ain't hit her up. She texts you, Hey, could we still be friends? What's your response to that? <laughs> it's a say, bro. I probably have to. I I don't know. I done did some shit. I done did some shit where I just ghosted. You know what I mean? And Damn. 
I'm in the emergency room because of you. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Brother, no. What? Nah. Damn. So I'll, I just have to leave it alone, bro, because that's what I did in the first place. Yeah. So I'm not, not, you're probably not, you're not into, into you being fast. I'm not going to. Put the energy, nah, not anymore. Uh, it's nah. It's <laughs> Mind you, she broke up with you. you. Didn't break up with her. And she's the one that shit in the friendship. She broke up with me. Yeah, and she's the one that's in this shit and trying to be friends. Yeah, nah, you're not fucking with her nah, nah. either, bro. Can't do it. Not <laughs> the reason being is because can't do it. It's obvious why she want to be friends because uh, you were good to her. You know what I'm saying? She know you're a good dude, so she don't want to ever lose you. And she knows if y'all stay cool. I don't want to tap on the table for the sound, but uh, she knows if y'all stay cool, she she damn she has got you. you, she got you, bro, because she knows she can pull a switch anytime and just be like, hey, I, I still have feelings for you. You could have a girlfriend at that time, but she just knows since y'all stay friends, she got you, bro. You never give a bitch that satisfaction. Yeah, never. You, you gotta never, make him feel like you lost something because that happened. Like you feel like you didn't deserve it, and it's like, dang, I tried, but exactly. you know it wasn't enough. Everything just went down the toilet. You know. So then you're going to stay my friend, but you still getting dicked down by other men. Exactly. It's like, I don't want to see it. I don't want to be in the same room as that shit. Yeah, I don't like, want to be associated with that shit. I need you uh, to feel facts. what you lost. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And I think that girls could say the same thing. Oh, for real. That's what I'm saying. For both parties, I feel like it's just best just to, just to end the whole whole relationship. No friendship. If y'all break up. Like, I know people say hey, it's cool to be friends still, but nah, it's not cool. It at all, depends, bro. though. It's like five years, though. So I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to be stupid and say, if I see this girl in person. I'm not saying I'm not, beef with her. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, yeah, it's not cool. Like, you're, not, you're not friends. Like, we can't talk about it. But if you see her in, if you see her in person, it's all love. Like, hey, what's right. up? You all right? You all right? I'm cool, too. All right. Have a good day. Right. Uh, other than that, we're not texting. We're not calling. We're not telling each other secrets. Right. We're not communicating unless right. we happen to run up in each other in real life. Right, right, and It's right. not going to be no animosity. We're just not on a talk every day. Like, Is it a blocking shit. thing, though? Um, depending, on, depending on the situation. Cause I, like I said, if y'all know me, y'all watched the last episode. I block pictures. I block females. So it all depends <laughs> on what the situation was. Why did she break up with me? And it's really how I feel. Cause sometimes when I'm dealing with females, I just to get my mind truly off of the situation. I gotta block them. I gotta block them, bro. I can't see their Instagram. I don't want to go through the old text messages, photos. I just gotta. You gotta erase everything. Just reset. And that's how you focus and get better from that shit. <laughs> at least that, that helps me out You know what I'm saying I'm not saying go around Blocking everybody But me personally It helps me through A lot if I just block that person Delete their If it personally helps you out Then then you know do it saying? Don't do it to to hurt the other person Like if it if it helps you out I mean Fuck how they feel Yeah 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 fuck how they feel Depends on how they did you bro If it was a five year relationship And she broke up with you for Something you might have did Yeah Now you fucking around and You know, you got caught cheating or something That's different bro But Yeah or you just wasn't You know Wasn't living up to what you said you was yeah, You know so, like, so, you, so I'll cook for you every day And I, I get it Like you don't do nothing yeah. And then play the game <laughs> <laughs> you Just get some shit You know Like you're not offering that uh, The dick and game bro. Like <laughs> Like Big <Like> security <laughs> <laughs> right, you probably pay her, it's her security, yeah, bro. Just putting y'all on game, bro, because like after a while, oh, that God. shit gonna get played out, dog. Man, you gonna lose a lot of dishes like that. A lot of females <laughs> for sure, bro, for sure. That shit gonna get played out, um, bro. Good question, though, man. Would you? Uh, I don't know if you asked this before, probably last last year, but uh, would you date a female with a very very high body count? When I say high, I'm talking like. <laughs> like 50 plus I think honestly like I think 25 plus is like that's high Wait, on the low I'm talking about 50 plus I'm talking about extremely high that's high yeah yeah. I don't know at this point <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just saying I mean, I'm, I'm just saying so look, I'll give you a scenario bro you talking with a shorty uh Y'all vibing and shit. Drinks start coming in. You start getting loose. So you start getting a little like curious. Just like out of curiosity, you ask her, Hey, what's your body count? 65. 
can see his face right there. Depends on how broken. bad she is. Not nah, just, <laughs> <laughs> nah, just playing, bro. She nah. says 65. 65 is crazy. What's your, what's your mood like? What's the vibe like after that? Probably have to leave it alone a little bit, bro. Yeah. Probably have to leave it a little, leave it alone a little bit, bro. Like I'll still be cool. Yeah. That shit's gonna have to happen naturally at that point. Like it's not gonna be off of that that night that attraction. Yeah. Like like. Well, you said we had some drinks. Yeah, yeah. yeah I still just curious, bro, because I've been in the situation. Who fucking knows? It's you been a situation. Ask a girl cut body count, but it's been some situation. I did ask for a body count. No one never told me no number that high. I don't know if that, you know what I'm saying, the girls, the girls lie. Of course, we all lie. We're human beings, but. Um, <laughs> you used a condom. But, yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't even matter, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> still fucked up. Uh, yeah. But, um, what did I get into? What did I get into? Uh, oh, yeah, like I was saying, just the question in general just comes up sometimes when I used to, uh, some of my old little teams and things. Uh, I asked that question before, so I was just curious, like, what happens if a girl told you, like, yeah, hey, I have 70 bodies, for example. Well, how I would do it, I would just, like, that shit would be in my head, in the back of my head. For sure. Moving forward. For sure. I go for a kiss, I'm thinking, hmm, that is 70 dicks that been in her mouth. That's going to be my logic now. She just told me she has 70 bodies. I'm assuming most most, most times we have a session with it, I says, most times we have sex there's foreplay involved. So my mind is, I'm going to think you sucked 70 goddamn dicks. And if I'm thinking that, I don't give a fuck how drunk I am. I, I might not kiss you. I'm not going to lie. I might not kiss you. Yeah. Now I'm going to start thinking, was it protected? Did she wear a condom? She never asked me if I wore a condom, if I had a condom. So now I start getting yeah. a little paranoid. You just had 70 bodies with unprotected sex? This shit, Bitch, that, this shit ain't walking too disease. <laughs> You already walking disease, bro. So I start getting all these thoughts in my head, and it's just I'm thinking about it. I probably wouldn't go through with it just cause I'm an overthinker. So I'm gonna overthink the whole shit, yeah. and I'm gonna think like out of seventy, it could be someone I don't know. She's from the city. I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Damn. This shit is is this shit is not two K. Like this shit <laughs> is real life. You can't just go up to a person. Press R three. You can't press that shit. You can't see they stats, bro. Yeah. You gotta you see can't. what they is in real life and see what the results is gonna be. You know what I'm saying? The condom might not even protect that, bro. So it's like, Facts. It, it ain't two K, man. Facts. So ladies, if y'all always watching this and you do got a high body count, protect <laughs> yourself, man. Yeah. Don't even say that shit. Just lie, honestly, bro. It's gonna make us feel better as men. We don't want to hear you got a hundred. 10 bodies nah say, don't say lie like 10, man that, you, like they 10, lie 15. to you bro they put you in a bad spot man i'd rather have i mean honesty is the best policy but what are you doing with me if you got a high body count do not tell me that shit because it might be the end of us <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you it definitely majority probably like 10 times out of 10 will be the end of us now if it comes up like we're like two years relationship i'm just curious and i ask her like <laughs> I got to stand on business, bro. I still might feel the same way. But truthfully, I just don't ask no more. I really just don't care. The way I look at it is I'm not yeah. the first. Probably not going to be the last. So just going to enjoy my turn. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just going to enjoy my turn, really, bro. That's how you got to look at it, you know? You got to look into it, like, looking for the worst case scenario type shit. And just, like, you think like that, and you just you think everything else is a blessing after that. Like, if it doesn't even go to that, then dang it ended up well but yeah she uh, ends up being that person with the body count then i i hope it's not me i i can't say i want that shit at all in my life bro what i what i try to look <laughs> for is uh i don't know because i like someone that's like i like females that have experience with sex i don't want no newbie nah that's i just don't true. want no bitch that's fucking on every goddamn motherfucker she talked to like goddamn, damn bitch, keep your legs closed you feel me like she, you want something to bust it up before you know i get you oh for sure like yeah i still want a little freak don't get me wrong come on lick come on <laughs> ink uh, man you still want a little freak you just don't want everyone's freak you know what i'm saying but fellas if you're out there and you're dealing with a girl with a high body count <laughs> boy just enjoy your turn but i'm not gonna tell you cut her off bro because you gotta eat we all gotta eat but just just Move with caution and like I said, wear a condom, protected sex. And just you know what I'm saying? 
Live with yourself. You gotta trust that girl. You can't be messing with nobody else if you're doing unprotected. <laughs> so, um, just a general question, bro. Have you ever turned down a female offering you some type of sexual behavior or uh, sexual encounter? Like, you ever turned down head? You ever turned down pussy? Because I have. I have on yeah. a couple of occasions. Yeah, I have. Uh, it, you know, it'd be on like back in the day. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I had a little day nap and whatnot. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it'd be the I picture look, look a little around. okay. And I'm like, okay. And then yeah. you actually hit the link up. Boom. And you like, ah, oh, that's not what I really wanted. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's not, I ain't even got no alcohol in my system. I ain't high. I ain't, so I'm, I'm, I'm sober as a motherfucker. Hell, even yo. if I was under the influence, I still. Still don't know if it would like it happen. <laughs> There's been times like that, and I'm just like, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I've turned it down. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I didn't have like to get out of it some type of way. <laughs> oh, that's you know you gonna have to turn it. You, you got to. You, you know, can't. You, you, you can't right do right everything you <laughs> fucking get into. I know you when it comes in real life, it. it's hard to turn it down. But try not to get yourself in that position in the first place. Try and really scope her out. See if you can hit her with a FaceTime call or something like that. Like, try and fill her out. You feel me? Like, that's what it should be. You should not link up with somebody <laughs> off the <Always> internet. <laughs> Just, Little like, she got to have sure. brand. She has to have branding or something. Like, you ain't got FaceTime everybody you link with off the yeah, internet. Well, it's it's a new than, world. She ain't got more than three photos within at least that. This yeah. shit is all you know filtered up and yeah, everything. It's, it's like, like bro, right, come on now. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be careful with that shit, bro. Nah, that's facts, bro. Uh, I had to turn on a few females. I'm not going to lie. I had to turn on a few. Uh, first one I, re- I remember, uh, this was a while back. I think I was like, uh, how old was I? Um, I think it was my sophomore year. And uh, I'm not going to put her name out there, but, uh, you know, we went to the same school. Girl offered me head after after summer class, and uh, we planted. Like it was, it was, I think she had. Uh, I was playing around in class, and then she ended up DM me like, "Hey, you serious?" And shit. I'm like, "Yeah." And she's like, "I right, come over on Wednesday. This was on Monday." And um, mind you, the reason I was playing around with her because people told me, "Hey, this girl's going around giving neck." And I'm like, "Shit." <laughs> right, you, know I mean? I'm a you got what's going on that action. I'm, I'm a little legit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, shit, let me see what's up. So I threw a little sub, little subliminal message in class and shit, and real through all in, you know what I'm saying? She slid in the DMs and shit. Then Wednesday can not nah, legit, like I was all ready for that shade down there, everything. I'm like, I'm about to get some neck. Wednesday came, I'm like, mm. Tuesday came actually. I just kept seeing her around because she wasn't like attractive, you know what I'm saying? At least attractive to me. So I'm like. Then Wednesday came. She's like, "Hey, you still coming over after class, uh, after uh, summer school?" I'm like, "Yeah," and uh, I just couldn't go through with it, bro. Cause yeah. I knew who she did the deed to, and I just kept thinking, like, uh, "Ugh," you know what I'm saying? He sucked that nigga dick. He like, probably didn't do just me? that. Touch so I'm like, might. "Yeah," and then I think, uh, bro, some some one bros ended up cu- uh, cuffing her, bro. So I'm like, "Hmm." I don't know, bro, but I turned down, turned down that. I just got scared, honestly, bro. I, I, I got, I got nervous, bro. I ain't gonna cap. Why? Cause it's like that's a girl. Just <sighs> I know you didn't pull shit before that, so oh for sure, bro, for sure. You just got nervous. Cause I wasn't like just nervous of the the the, the rumor going out. Cause that that happened to me my senior year when I uh yeah when someone did the deed then. I didn't say shit. I didn't tell her so, but for some reason, every female knew that that girl, you know, like, it, yeah. it, it fucking sucked. Not gonna lie, because it was. They talk, man. Like, why the fuck is she telling people she sucked my dick? Like, that's just weird, bro. Like, weird as fuck. But, um, that was one story. Uh, another story time was, um, got a little older. Um, like you said, you hop on a Tenderoni. Um, tell a girl, come through. I FaceTime bitches, but when I FaceTime her, I just heard her voice. I, like, I seen her face like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, she's pretty. You know what I'm saying? Right. Didn't think too much of it. She didn't sound 
I'm not saying I know it. Fat girl, big girls. Sorry, I'm not trying to body shame nobody, but <laughs> <laughs> not saying I know what what yeah, bigger people sound like. But she didn't sound like she was on the heftier side, you know what I'm saying? So she pulls up. This bitch came out looking like a damn linebacker. I'm talking about six two, three hundred and forty pounds. I'm like, golly, golly, boy. <laughs> I must have. Nah. How you doing? Uh, I got people over, so it's gonna be quick and shit. I ain't had nobody I think over. You said but I six coming. two. 350? Yeah. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> yeah. She was probably like an inch nah. tall. She was like an inch shorter than me. But built like a, like a semi truck. But um, <laughs> I had to turn that down. Because uh, I, yeah, yeah, I, I took. I'm not drunk, 6'2, so I drunk. can't say shit. I got probably drunk as I could get without throwing up, and I just still couldn't go through with it, bro. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling it. I gotta go, you know. Um, that's crazy, bro. Crazy, words, I can't, bro. I can't imagine. I would have had to see that. Yeah, if you don't FaceTime, fellas, you get put in situations just like that. Rookie mistake, though. Rookie mistake. Um, we're gonna finalize this one with uh, I guess the final question before we go with our motivational speeches. Um, do you feel like you ever were in love, or was it just lust? Yeah. So you think you were in love? <laughs> I'm just curious, brother. You know what I'm saying? Was it? Do you think you're really in love, or was it? Was it just lust? Mm. The it's ones that I, I was in love with, I hope it was love. You know what I mean? You don't think it was lust? Let me ask you this. One of them. Let me ask you this: Cause love is not supposed to go away, right? Love is there forever. It's unconditional love, right? You love your mom, right? You yeah. love your dad, you love your sisters, and all that. Yeah. And that feeling would never go away, right? That's love. Right. That's love. Let me ask you, that's why that's going to get me into the question. Them girls you said, the, the, the female or female or females that you just not thinking about, do you still love them? So mm-hmm. is it really love? <laughs> I mean, you can't love yeah. what they did. You can't love the person no more. You can't You can't just love the results or, or the actions that they did for you, the, the – um, the mindsets they might have given you, the you know what I'm saying? Like, some of that shit. You got to let a person still. It's love is love is a feeling I can't disappear. I guess so. It's either love or lust, huh? Love or lust. I guess in everything I had it was <laughs> lust. Even if I ain't beat them things down, it was lust, bro. I got I had, it. I, I got it. I got it. I had this question. I, I have this question by myself, bro. Like, when I go back to my one of my longest relationships, it's like, did I really love her? I said I did when we were together, but I feel like if we really loved each other, we'd never separate it. And if I still had the love, I wouldn't have never let us separate it. You know what I'm saying? I would never let what happened happen. But I don't think it's really love. The reason I'm, I'm, I kept questioning you that hard, but you think about it, because when you love somebody, it's unconditional. You do anything for them, you're done or die for them, for real. You know, um, I know me personally, I would get in front of a bullet to stop my mom from getting shot 10 times out of 10 every time train everybody but that's 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 what I feel like love is truly love is a feeling where that shit can, can't go nowhere you're gonna love them regardless what happens you know what I'm saying you have disagreements but it's always love and you always gonna want the best that you have their best interest and they have your best interest lust lust is a feeling you want something you want something but how do I explain lust? Let me go on Google real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna give yeah, y'all boys the real yeah, des- definition of lust, cause my my definition of lust is just you like something. But I'm gonna give y'all a more thorough answer. Uh, very strong sexual desire. That's lust. That's a better. That's a better answer. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, very yeah. strong sexual desire. It just emphasizes basically what you just said. Yeah. It's the same shit. Yeah. You like something? <laughs> you want it? Uh, you just want to want to cream those real quick. You want to? You want to? Yeah, <laughs> you want to crash, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I feel like it, most relationships just in this one, fault, brother. Just no, my, it. funny, man, I can't even talk right now. Just to go with it, and uh, a lot of relationships thrive while lust, not not in love, because I feel like in this world, it's not a lot of love no more. Because it's not like the '90s and '80s where you didn't have social media back then, so a lot of less temptations. Now you got social media. You can find a new partner partner at a 
like your fingertips pretty much you got dating apps so i just feel like it's a lot of lust going on not, not, not a lot of love so if you are looking for relationships just go in with that mindset like you might not find love it's gonna be a lot of lust because a lot of people just have sexual desires you got porn all-time high porn acts are going crazy right now everyone's just choking the chicken you got females all these vibrators and you got vibrating <laughs> panties and all just all this crazy sexual shit going on in the world all i can say fellas and females love yourself and uh just try to try to love your partner man oh yeah but just to end yourself with some motivational shit man because y'all gotta wrap it up don't worry we got part two coming out very soon it's gonna be a lot of stories but um to get y'all right sometimes you gotta go to war with yourself to fix yourself and what i say with that is you go to war with yourself really go to battle with yourself and try to fight all the negative things in your life like if you got icks and you got um, addictions i personally got addictions bro i know what they is and i'm trying to get that right that's why i gotta go to war with myself to fix myself man and uh yeah, man, you just got to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Look in the mirror. Look yourself in the eyes and tell yourself what's wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? Be honest. Have a heartwarming conversation with yourself and just try to get right from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't bullshit and be like, your hair cut. You know, you look like shit. No, 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 no. You know what? You know what's wrong with you. You know what you can get better at. So you just have that conversation with yourself, man, and just keep on trying to be great. You know, GV, you, you're trying to get you better. Every, every episode. Every episode, you're trying to make y'all get better. Trying to put y'all on game occasionally here and there, but like I said, man, welcome to the pod. Thank y'all welcome for listening. Welcome to the pod, man. <laughs> welcome to the pod. We and out here, uh, man. You got any final statements, brother? Uh, nah, y'all done heard it. Y'all need to listen into the episode. Hey, man. Like it's a seven. <laughs> Take a look back or something. That is going to go a long way for y'all. Especially y'all youngest. Man. Youngest, man. The young, young jits and young bulls, man. But pleasure speaking to y'all, man. My main man. Hey, man. Confusion. Yeah, right, Jalen GB, man, we we out. Right, about it, about it. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> that is that <epic. laughs>